What's up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk. Michael, I have to re-upload this because, and if you don't know, this is there's no sound. It's because the sound, unfortunately, got myself copyrighted. So, yeah, we're back to the videos that um have no audio. So until I can find like music and that gets me no audio, then this will have to be the consequence. But. Let's get to our regularly scheduled program. Apologize if you hear the noise. Chicago Bears OTA uh, OTAs are pretty much wrapped up at this point. Um, I do want to mention that I've been seeing um, what's been going on lately. Um, I'm seeing a lot of greatness about Caleb, and one thing in particular about Caleb is the thing. What I like the most is one play in particular, it was him throwing a dime to uh, Keenan Allen. I mean, not Keenan Allen. It was Gerald Everett, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I there was one play in particular where he rolled out. He basically threw it, and then it, it got caught. He ba- it, it was basically put in the hands where Gerald Everett could catch it. That's one thing about Caleb, and people talk about it, is he throws with anticipation. Um. Another play, the, like, like I said, he's been having some nice passes to DJ Moore. He's been having some nice passes to um, Cole Command and Gerald Everett, and along with um, Roma Doomsday, a lot. And um, so, yeah, he's, he's been giving the defense. Um, he gave the defense a tough time on the first day, but the second day was a different story. Caleb had a lot of incompletions, but I will say this: anyone who's overreacting to OTAs of Caleb struggling. Get that shit. Um, please check yourself and get the hell out of here. Because at the end of the day, this is OTAs. This is where Caleb is supposed to get his feet wet. He's supposed to make mistakes. So, and plus, it's not like our. It's and plus, it's it, it's a it, it's a double edged sword. If Caleb lit up the Bears defense in the OTAs, you'll get people complaining about. Oh, it's just OTAs. You can't complain. You you really can't take too much. Or you get people saying, oh, Caleb is tor- uh, torching a defense. Is the Bears defense good, guys? No, the Bears defense is all- remarkably still good, all right? We, ha- we have, pro- like I said, I've been seeing what Kyler Gordon's been putting in work. We've got the Spider Gordon. <laughs> so so we got Spider Gordon putting in, putting in that work. You got Jaquan Brisker putting in work. I mean – and Jalen Johnson showing up with the number one. I'm thinking about keeping the Fields jersey and just replacing the word Fields with Jalen Johnson, so it does not look completely useless. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. But I'm gonna be laid back, and I'm just gonna and and just you know analyze what I see, and what I see is Caleb. Um, having Ricky pa- growing pains, but if that's stuff for him to learn on. Even e- And plus, there is really going to be no quarterback controversy because back in the Ryan Pace era, there, they, they would have, they would have Glennon. They would have, they would have Andy Dalton start, but Eberfuels is like, nope, Caleb Williams is going to be the starter. There is no quarterback controversy. There is no Tyson Bajan starting. There is a number one there. The Caleb Williams will be your starter. There is no Tyson Bajan going to be starting. But like I said, I'm being perfectly honest. I'm being laid back on it. I was upset about it at first, but sign to embrace it. It's Caleb time. So, and plus this bear claw thing is actually cool. So, so y'all see this, but anyways, that's it. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, As always, thanks for watching.